Now for the next major requirement, the prevention of fuel knock. The motorist wants smooth, controlled application of power. Using a special demonstrator, I shall show the difference between poor performance and good performance. Now, with the hard face of this mallet, I strike the piston. The piston you see receives a punishing rap, showing how power is wasted when gasoline knocks. This time, I shall use the cushioned face of the mallet to show what happens when gasoline does not knock. Smooth, useful power propels the piston, sends the crank spinning. The performance difference you've seen is a mighty important one that you ought to understand better. So let's look inside the engine by means of animation and see what happens when the fuel burns. These gasoline molecules have not been improved on or controlled by science. They are untamed and unruly. What you will see next actually takes place in about one five hundredth of a second. First, the spark ignites the compressed fuel charge. Now, watch for the knock. In this greatly slowed down action, you could see that with this gasoline, combustion was uneven and uncontrolled. And at the end, there was a jarring, violent explosion, a knock that pounded and shook the engine. Now we shall repeat the action. Watch again for the knock. Now, with gasoline made up of molecules that have been science fashioned so that they have the required anti-knock quality, molecules that stay under control and work as a team, let's see what happens. Note in this case that the combustion is more uniform and there is no knock. The big difference, as you could see, is that with gasoline of the required anti-knock quality, there is no knock. Combustion is smooth and even and completely under control. Now we shall repeat the action. Watch how the combustion proceeds as it should, smoothly and without the interference caused by knocking. In the modern high compression engine, modern gasoline gives the greater performance required today. The car accelerates more rapidly, climbs hills faster, travels more miles per gallon. In addition to fashioning the molecules to prevent fuel knock, refineries usually add minute quantities of tetraethyl lead to help accomplish the same purpose. This model shows how just the right amount of fluid containing tetraethyl lead and dye is added to the gasoline. In the knock testing laboratories, test engines are used to make sure that the proper anti-knock quality has been built into Standard Oil's gasoline. The high anti-knock reference fuel is called iso-octane, hence the expression octane number. This test engine is equipped with a dial indicator that shows just how badly the engine is knocking. With a fuel of low octane number, here's how it sounds. Switching to a high octane number fuel, the knocking diminishes and finally fades out completely. This illustrates the smooth, even performance you get from standard red crown and standard white crown. 